Welcome family and friends to BCC Art Studio. I'm Billy and today I'm going to be doing a project for a friend. So this friend of mine, her husband and her, their dog passed away and I'm going to be doing a keepsake for them. So I have these molds, these picture frame molds, the oval and the square or rectangle. <coughs> Excuse me. So first off, I want to start off with my Mod Podge. This is going, to, I'm going to spray the Mod Podge on the pictures front and back and all around to seal the picture so the resin does not seep through. So once I've done that I will be back. So my <clears throat> my pictures, right? So I took my Mod Podge spray and I sprayed the front, let that dry, then I sprayed the back and I let that dry, then I sprayed the front and let it dry and the back and let it dry. I want to make sure that the resin does not seep through these pictures when I put them in it. So I have four ounces of resin. This is clear cast 7000 and it's a one to one ratio. And right now I'm just mixing and mixing and mixing. So probably about three minutes worth. I already started mixing before I pressed record. but. Scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, make sure you get that stuff mixed up really well. And I usually hold it up to the light to see to see if I can see any streaks in it yet. And I don't know if you can see it, but I can see streaks in it yet. Trying to make sure my molds are clean. <laughs> I mean, they're brand new. I haven't used them yet. So I just want to pour just enough to cover this little squared area and the round area. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these little cups or not, but... Just want to make sure there's enough to spread into this area. If you're new here and enjoying the content, why not consider hitting that subscribe button? By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all the latest videos and join our community of art enthusiasts. It's a great way to show your support and never miss out on any of the creative adventures we embark on together. So go ahead, hit subscribe, and let's dive into the world of art together. Okay, so I want to place my pictures in here. If you leave a comment in the comment section, your name will be featured in the end credits at the end of the next video. I'd love to hear your thoughts and give you a shout out. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to mix up the rest of this resin with uh, the res uh, Resin Metallics Art Paste. It is, oh, let's see, Paris Blue. I bought this like a year ago. I've used it twice. So, and since my friend's husband likes blue, I figured I would use some blue. Use this anyway. That is a gorgeous color though when it's in the resin. I 
All right. I think it's dark enough. Hopefully it'll be enough for one, one set of the legs. Okay, so I went ahead and I resined these. I wanted to use up the rest of the resin that I had and I knew I didn't have enough for the whole thing. So I went ahead and mixed the blue in there. And so now I have six ounces of resin. Do not know if it's gonna be enough, but I'm gonna work on this one first and we will see where it goes from there. So I'm gonna take my blue pigment paste and I'm gonna mix it in the resin. Probably don't need too much. Let's move it up here so you can see. It's not that dark. I need to make more. Or don't need to make more. I need to add more. So I'm trying to see how thick, how dark that is because I do want it to be dark. All right, I think that will do. We'll start off in here. this one over to the heat table. So, let's see if I can get this off of here without spilling it all over the place. I'm going to go take this one over and then I'm going to put the other one on here before... Take this one to the heat table before I do the other one. Alright, I just don't know if... I'm... I don't think I'm going to have enough for this one, but we'll find out. I know I might have enough of that, but I'm not going to have enough for both of those. God, that is pretty, pretty blue. So you'll never guess what I finally bought. I finally went out and I got some. Well, I ordered it anyway. I got my white pigment paste from Eye Candy. So I can try to attempt to make them flowers that I've been wanting to make for a while now. Maybe in a future video. I'm sure it will be, but for now, just working on this one. I think I got more room to get the rest of this in there. I'll have to make more after this is done to do the legs, but, but right now I am not going to do the legs. That is such a pretty blue. All right, so I'm gonna bring this over to the heat table and we will be back when this is dry. Okay, so welcome back. So it has been four hours. And I can see one of them didn't turn out. 
this one here, which that's why I didn't pour. That's why I didn't pour the legs on this one because I kind of knew this one wasn't going to turn out. As you can see, the picture pulled it up. I could probably put some more blue in there, but I think because it folded up, it left that. So I'm just going to demold it and see what it looks like. And, well, even if it did turn out, I can still pour the legs, maybe put it back in here and see if I could re-pour another layer onto it, but I'll probably end up redoing it. And if I do redo it, I'm gonna do it in this one because doing a square picture is a lot easier than doing an oval shaped one. And hopefully I can get it out of here. And my mold ripped right there. First time using the mold and it ripped. So, I mean, it's not too bad, but I don't like it. Good thing it ripped. See, right there. That kind of pisses me off. I just bought these. All right, hopefully this one does not rip. Let's demold the feet first. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully this one does not rip because I will be really, really mad. Not bad, not bad, but it is kind of bowed. I mean, you know what's up with that. Looks like I'm gonna have to do them both again. Because if you look, I don't know if you can see that, see the, it's like bubbles. All in all, it turned out pretty good. Let me bring you in for a close up. So here is the picture. Not too bad. That mold worked out better than the round one did. Like I said, it is kind of bowed for some reason. I am going to have to do both of them again because I don't like that. And I don't sell crap to my customers, so I don't I just don't like the that on the front. So I'm going to have to do them again. Well thank you for watching and happy pouring.